Stab, stab, round, up, down, 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 up, down. Snap into the BAM cast. All right, guys, uh, I'm BAM. Welcome back to my podcast. We got a real good one for you, you today. It's a good show. Okay, so I don't want you guys to smash the like button. Don't worry about that. That's like, that's a noob move. I think the homie would agree. But what I do want you to do is molest the like button. <laughs> Please molest the like button. I have no problem with that. Feel free to molest it all day. And then as far as the uh, YouTube subscribe button and the uh, Twitch follow button, don't worry about it. Don't don't hit them. Don't hit the uh, subscribe button. But what you can do is tickle its taint. Tickle it. <laughs> there you go. You see, homie? All right. Uh, and then the other thing I wanted to say is the notification button. Don't worry about it. Do not touch it. Don't touch it whatsoever. But if you want to me too, my uh, <laughs> me too, the notification button, feel free. Me too that. Give it some uh, issues, future issues. Let's uh, get on to the show. All right. So my guest for today, you know, he's achieved quite a few things, reached a few goals. So recently he's reached his 1000 plus subscriber mark on YouTube. He's reached channel mon monetization as well. So I guess his channel is monetized now. Mm? Yeah. Yes. No. Uh, awesome. Awesome. And then uh, this is the second time he's been on the BAMcast. Uh, so I give you the return of the homie, RJ. Come on in, homie. Oh, you need to start doing intros for like movies and shit for like shows <laughs> because that was got to, bro. Hell that was yeah. To. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. If, it, if, if that was a move, it would be like Akuma Tekken 7 broken. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hell yeah. From flips and all. I appreciate, nah, I appreciate it. That. What up, bro? It's been, t I think the last time we did this was like literally like two years ago. He's back in the day buffet. Yeah, I, I basically around that time, 2019, I thought I was going to be doing podcasts every week, but it's really hard to balance the podcast <laughs> plus the streaming plus the highlight videos. It's just really hard, plus the family life and a job, right? So it's, it's hard. So right now I'm focusing more on this BAMcast and it's working out great, actually. Um, oh, thanks for the uh, sub, by the way, drummer. He, uh, what did he say? What did I tell him to do? He tickled the taint of the uh, sub button. <laughs> Play with the balls a little bit. He me too my sub button. All right, homie, let's get into it, man. Tell us about your achievements that you recently, the thou a thousand plus subscribers. God oh, tier. I still, can't, I still can't even believe it. I, I know it's like, kind of like, is it like the typical thing to say, oh, I didn't think I'll make it. it it's true. A lot of people think they didn't even make it this far. People have been doing it for fucking years and, you know, they still haven't hit that far, which, you know, not a bad thing. As long as you're doing it because you enjoy it, mm -hmm. not because you see big numbers and shit like that, you know, that's the most important part. You know yeah. what I mean? That, but yeah. yeah, it's still a trip to like wake up and say, hey, bro, I hit a thousand. That's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, if you're enjoying it, it doesn't feel like a like a job, basically, right? It, do, it just feels like, like once you start doing it for like that kind of shit, it just it takes the whole the whole feeling away from it. Yeah, the whole fun it out of like it. You have to do you have to do it stuff. I want to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then what do you think attributed to you getting these thousand? Because so I, I noticed there was a point i want to say it was maybe at the end of last year or was it the beginning of this year like you really started hitting it hard uh, either i was just pay paying more attention but it felt like you were doing more you were producing more streams more let's plays and more maybe even I think music that's what it is i think that's what it, is. it, it was just like a more 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 because when i started i literally was just doing let's plays and stuff like that and mm -hmm. like streams here and there here and there but like I started enjoying the streams a lot more, so I just started doing them more and more and more and playing different shit. You know what I mean? And I think it's also because of the different stuff that I play or, like, the main stuff that I play as well. Because, like, like, the fighting games and then the music, I think it's, like, the main part of my channel, which everybody, you know, I guess, seems to enjoy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, like, I recently started playing Dead by Daylight, and that 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 has been helping a lot, too. People have been liking that and, you know, subbing and doing not all that fun stuff because of that. So I, I guess it's just like what I what I play as well. And because I enjoy it, you know what I mean? Got you, got and you. Like, as you can tell, then they're, they're, the games are pretty damn old. You know what I mean? They're not. No yeah. Yeah. Call of Duty. Nothing. Nothing too crazy. You know what I mean? They're like Tekken and uh, Mortal Kombat are kind of 
not newer, but you know, they keep getting content and stuff like that, but they're not like fresh out the water type shit. Yeah, and if you stick with a game, it feels like you will grow a community more than Exactly. You know, and you can exactly. hop around yeah, you can hop around and play other games, but if you have those base games where you can you come yeah. back to, yeah. Uh, and I'm happy you That's got That's what people seem to enjoy more is the, like, you know, my fighting games and the music. Got you. Yeah, so, yeah. That 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 that, that it tributed a lot. Yeah, yeah. I like that and you homegirl. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I like that you uh picked up Tekken. If you remember two years ago, I, I uh was checking out some highlight stuff. Two years ago you weren't into Tekken. You were like uh you're like, nah, man, I don't really mess with Tekken. <laughs> I played I it, but really I don't. Played Tekken, yeah. yeah, yeah. I but now. Like growing up here and there with like cousins mm-hmm. and friends, but it never really caught my attention. But then, like, I started seeing like you and other people play it more. I'm like, okay, this shit kind of looks tight. You know what I mean? But yeah. uh, the thing is, I didn't know who to pick. And as you know, I'm a waifu player. Gotcha. <laughs> and so, like, it was crazy. I didn't even know that kind of character existed. Yeah. My baby, my baby girl, Eliza, she's. Two years, bro. Eliza. Or has it been two years? Almost two years. Eliza I've been playing mm-hmm. it. Yeah. And Eliza, bro, I'm a vampire. <laughs> I'm a vampire. I, exactly. Ever since then, bro, I haven't looked back. I tried picking yeah. up other characters and playing around, but nothing hits like Eliza does. Got you, got you. Think about her, bro. She's mm-hmm. she's she plays Tekken, but she has a stupid dumb 2D shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Drummer says, Bam sucks at Tekken. Shut up, drummer. You suck at Tekken. <laughs> Yeah. All right. 1v1. Yeah, 1v1. All right. So, what else did I want to ask you? The channel mon- monetization. Did you figure all that out? Because I remember you were having trouble a little bit with the uh, super uh, chats. It, for some reason, it still hasn't sorted itself out. Yeah, I, I got you. What it is. Maybe I got to get a new ID, which is, I don't know what it, I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. But at the end of the day, it's not really for the money. So, I, but I did end up making a, you know, Shameless plug of PayPal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I told him to do that. You know? I, I told him to do that. Don't, yeah, don't don't take the credit. Don't take the credit. Nah, I, no. No, exactly. No, you, he didn't. Because I, yeah. you know, I, I, I've been doing this for a while. You know, I, you know, you know, just yeah, yeah. Pat on my back. <laughs> yeah, man. Like you, you earned it. Like I've donated. A, I donated once to your super chat and then once to the uh, oh, yeah. deal. Have you guys seen like a lot of my videos? Mm-hmm. Like at the end of the videos, you guys are gonna see like a screen. Yeah. And his name will be on there, and there's some other people as well. So you guys. You know, yeah, the reason I bring it up is that, like, yeah, he's been doing it for so long. It's it is a nice little pat on his back if you know people can, you know, shoot him a couple of pennies. <laughs> you know, be a sugar mom or a daddy. Put a couple I mean, of uh, I, don't, I don't judge. Put a couple of <laughs> dollar bills in his thong. Shit. <laughs> and say, I show front and back. We ain't dancing for nothing. But nah, it, it, it's <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. It's we. It's not for the money at all. Uh, exactly. that's a good thing. So you weren't even really but worried be, about it. I wouldn't it. be yeah. doing this and yeah. releasing all these videos and songs if, you know, I didn't want to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it was just for money, you would, we actually, we would have both quit a long time ago. <laughs> oh, exactly. So, yeah. That's good to know, man. That's, that's great. You still got the passion after what? Four uh-huh. years. How long have you been doing it? And four even, years. I'm with, for, uh, with the music, I've been doing it since high school, but with like, uh, YouTube about, it's going to be three years, bro. And I keep thinking about like, bro. I was literally fucking playing Dragon Ball Fighters and yeah, getting that fucking pre. It's crazy. I don't know. Three years doesn't seem like a long time, but if you really sit and think about it, bro, three years is a long fucking time. Yeah, no, I think I just hit four years. I looked at my la- my earliest video and it says four years ago. <laughs> it's that's crazy. crazy, bro. Yeah, like my hair on my balls grew longer. That, that's another <laughs> thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're not even holding on to the same pubes at this point. It all fell exactly. off. Exactly. They like you know they they got dreads now. They ro- <laughs> they got mu- they got uh, parent issues. Yo, what's up, uh, Boost? Me? What's up, Boost? I see you over there, man. They're hanging lower and looking. Yeah, like, I know. Uh, Dumbo ears. <laughs> got you, got you. All right, so we asked about the uh, thousand plus subscribers that you got now on YouTube. Channel on the tape, channel monetization. I gotta say that extra slow. This is easy, ain't it? Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> it's my, it's my, you wouldn't never think it's my first language, which it is. Bro, I feel you. <laughs> I can feel you. When my buddy yeah. saw how bad I was at like spelling and, and typing and stuff, and he was like, "I mean, that's that's it's it's cool, ain't no problem. It's not like it's your first language or nothing." Cause he, was, I was Hispanic. <laughs> he, he was dead serious. That's I was like, fucking "Motherfucker, fucking that is my first oh. language." This guy. I, I, damn, I want to hit in the court and I'm like, I, I'm good. Yeah, I got you, got you. Uh, That's funny, though. 
All right, so what else did I want oh, to? It reminds me of that movie. Uh, 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 what is it? Water, but my mama said, my mama, my mama said, my mama said, <laughs> bro, yeah. that, that's that was me, bro. I, the, so I feel you on that. The way he talks is the way I type. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's the way I live. Put it that way. Uh, all right, so now that you have these achievements and you see that your channel's come on along and you've been doing it for a while, I can tell you love it. Um, what upgrades do you have planned for the future? Even if you don't really have it, like what would you like to get? It's mainly a new PC or even mm. a laptop. Yeah. The one I have now, it does stuff. <laughs> yeah. But you know, as, you know, as as the years go on, it's getting older. I'm getting older, mm -hmm. so you know, it's time to upgrade. You know what I mean? So that's probably like the main thing. That and probably a fucking capture card. Got you. Got you. Have these. Because these fucking weep anime games that I love to play always have black scenes, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah I, I noticed your your PC is struggling. Uh, uh -oh. As you, uh, that's why we're a little bit late. Sorry. Yeah, that's why we're late. We were trying to get Zoom to work. It wouldn't work. We had to switch over to uh, make some arrangements and get Discord to work. We're actually on Discord right now, <laughs> but it works. It, it looks good this time. It's starting to work out. We couldn't even get so the sound to work. Not nothing here on the Esteban. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, all right. So, what else did I want to ask you? Um, oh, so I notice you don't like to stream with a webcam. I'm glad you're. Thanks for gracing us with your presence today. Oh. <laughs> he does. He's not on camera a lot. He's okay. Uh, that's why you paid. He <laughs> paid. Paid to play, huh? But yeah, that's why. Yeah, it's because I'm a member to his OnlyFans. That's why. But uh, yeah, like. Do you, you don't ever think you'll stream with the camera on or I think I think? might sooner or later. No, I do want to do that, but like I said, it's I think I want to start with the laptop first, then work gotcha. my way up for like the little shit. Gotcha. Yeah, because everything right now you run off the uh PlayStation, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to see you besides get... like my besides like my music, every everything's on my yeah, my PlayStation. Uh, gotcha. If you do get a new laptop, it's gonna be good because you're gonna be able to edit way oh, faster yeah. probably with your music and stuff. Way fast, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that, that that's mainly what it is too, because that takes up so much time. Got you, got you. All right, so um, that's what I want to ask about that. I want to see you get stream alerts and all that. That would be cool. Uh, donation sure. alerts, because you're getting them, but you don't got the alerts yet. So, oh yeah, exactly. Yo, yo, Nico, what's up, man? Say what's up to the home. Yo, RJ. Nico, my boy. I wanted to ask you about your music creation process and your thought process when it comes to you know making the tunes that you like to make all right so let's yeah let's go into that you you ready e. so what i'm gonna do guys is i'm gonna play probably like half of one of his songs you know i'll do i'm gonna do three songs we'll probably play about half of each of them and then we'll go into like what his inspiration was what uh you know what his thought process was and his creation process i'll share it on screen or i could just share it i could share it differently i could just do this let's see yeah let's do it this this way this will be more efficient i have a little playlist with your songs let's do that so i chose pop because he has a real he has he has a style uh i don't know what you would say your overall style would be but it's a real chill style this one though he like kind of recreated his sound he did he went a different direction i would yeah. say it's kind of like a daft punkish it's his style, but like a Daft Punk mix. I don't know what you would call it, but it was pretty cool. I, don't, I was going more for like, I don't know if you ever heard of like, kind of like the old school kind of pop sound that I was trying to go yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. But still rap, right? Like still like a rap. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. So like let me. Mix of that. I'm going to share it on the lower uh, left hand corner here. Let me uh, make sure it shows up. I don't know why I had to reset it. So this song is called Pop. Let's play it. You guys should be able to see it on the screen on the left. Left hand corner, here we go. Hey, hey. 
I'll probably play all of it. It's only like two minutes. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Nico's digging it. Gonna to the game, gonna make it mad. So I gotta stay up on my brand. It's gonna be the liquor, so I can't waste time. Don't try to tell the world, so I let him fly. Thinking about how the world can be a sweet place full of lies. Don't try to wonder why, but whatever I'm gonna be repping my life. What was that? I said, yeah, I could have enjoyed it with song. That's good, yeah. That's uh, that's good for this playlist. Keeping my game tight, ne never gonna stop the fight. I just be vibing, I be feeling nice. I'm just trying to live and have the time of my life. This Mississaukee's got me blind. Damn, homie, straight up starting to sing, and he was rapping before, and now he's singing. <laughs> Like, where's my fucking glow stick? <laughs> oh, back there, numb chucking the shit. Flop. All right, so that's that song. All right, that one's pretty. That one's pretty short. I think that's the shortest of the bunch. Uh, all right, so let me put this back on here. Uh, all right, so that was pop. I'm gonna go back to it. Um. Yeah, definitely makes you want to bust out the glow sticks for sure. All right, so that one, I like that line. What is that line? I'm going to let the music drop. Uh, what, is, what do you say? Something flop. Oh, I'm going to let the music pop. I'm going to let all the drama flop. Flop, that's what it was, yeah. I, was, I got lost in my thoughts because I was talking over it and looking at the chat. But yeah, I like that line, especially the way you say it. That one's cool because we get to hear, you get to hear you rap. And we also get to hear you just like basically sing at a certain point. Yeah. Before we That's go what on. I like to do in my song. It's like kind of like mix it up. Mm -hmm. The way I think about it when I do stuff like that is kind of like when I listen to songs, I really like two different types of sounds, mm -hmm. two different types of voices sometimes. Like there's, you know, two people on a song and they're yeah. one singing, one's rapping, mm -hmm. or there's someone that's singing and rapping. I, I've always liked that kind of music. Yeah. So like that's why I try to always incorporate with mine just a little bit of, you know, each got you got you yeah i noticed that a lot of times too you'll be your own backup singer like you'll be yeah, doing exactly. the rapping and then you have like your own backup vocals on a lot of your songs and so, that's why i do that too because that i like i don't have like a group so i'm gonna be the group <laughs> mm -hmm. hey tell us about before we go into this song some more tell us about your background you were saying something about that i didn't know last time that your background was actually you started oh, yeah. off as a mariachi singer <laughs> when you're a boy okay. right well, now, yeah, when I was in middle school and high school, I that I was in mariachi for the whole entire time. And that's what kind of got me into like making my, my own music, and it turns out to be rap, which is really weird. I still kind of find that weird. I don't know how that transitioned like that, yeah. but I think it's because I I grew up listening to rap and you know and all that Spanish music as well. Mm -hmm. But then like actually getting to perform it or perform music. Got and you. then you know singing and you know playing stuff that mm -hmm. that opens something up i'm like oh i do like just doing music in general got you. you know what i mean yeah and no way my ass is gonna because you know my english my, my english well my english is shit too but my spanish is you know ain't the best and you know so i'm like i do like making music but I don't see myself making mariachi music. Right? I got you. Yeah. That's not that's not oh. what you enjoy creating. You enjoy singing it, yeah. but not creating it. Got exactly. You. Exactly. Got you, got it, you. It's fun. And I really like the music, but I don't see myself doing it 
all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I got you. And with like, with like rap or R and B or pop, whatever, you can do a lot more with it. You know what I mean? Got you, got you. Yeah, yeah, you can take it different directions like you did with that pop mm-hmm. song. Uh, Frosty says. All right, trying to make a song together? It's a question for you, homie. I, I've, been, I've been waiting for you. He, he has been, been waiting for you. This, two years ago, we talked about this because my <laughs> nephew said make some. Uh, he makes some pretty good music, man. He's a rapper, sort of, you know, sort of like you, uh, a little bit more new age. Songs on streams, mm-hmm. and like I, I like it, but like I still have a way for the homie. Yeah, I'm you know, telling I'm, you. Like have him, have him send me something, and then I'll record it and send it right back. You, you guys are both on my Discord. <laughs> I've been so, doing this for years, so it's not you know it's not that yeah. hard to do stuff like that. Yeah, and you and you collab a lot. And then uh, one second, it says, uh, uh, "Yes, I made it." How's it going, you guys? Uh, that's Tory Bear. Tory Bear. Tory hey, Bear. Yeah, so, yo, bro, what's up? You yeah, you've what's collabed going, with man? with him before, as far as editing and He's, stuff, right? Uh, and uh, speaking of him, like uh, my upcoming the upcoming song we're gonna talk about, Paradise. He actually is the one that helped me edit yeah. the video mm-hmm. and put everything together. So <laughs> shout out to that man. On that, on, well, I'll ask you in a minute. Um, but yeah, tell us more about this pop song. Why did you go this direction? Because that's not that's not usually the direction you go into. Yeah, it's just I used to go for like more melodic rap type stuff. Like, uh, but at that time I was li- that's all the kind of music I was listening to for some mm-hmm. weird reason. I, like, if you seen, I did a cover of "Never Gonna Give You Up," so that probably has something to do with it. Yeah, you're like and you'll so, throw us some curveballs every now and you'll do like a, a cover. I of, love doing it. I <laughs> what was the what was the couple of the covers like, that you did? That you did. Yeah, that? Never gonna give you up. Uh-huh. I've done Teenagers by My Chemical Romance. <laughs> My uh, Chemical Romance. I've done Volver, Volver by Vicente. That's Fernandez. what it was. Yeah. Uh, you know, it just because that, that's the kind of stuff I I grew up listening to, grew up singing, grew up you know chilling to. And so yeah, I was like, yeah, Fuck yeah. It. Why not? Why not? Why not? Let's let's do a let's do a couple curveballs gotcha. here and there. Gotcha. Yo, I even do Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer for Christmas <laughs> last year. Yeah, what's going on, uh, Legendary the Legend? What's up? Welcome, every- boy, Legendary yeah. Legends of yeah. all the Legends. Welcome everyone to the Bam Cast. Bam. Um. All right. So, yeah, you were just trying to do something different, and you were inspired by the music you were listening to at that time. Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as the video, did you just? Why did you choose? the imagery that you chose for this pop because that that scene in fucking final fantasy blew my mind mm-hmm. and like it was cloud fucking breaking it down which is yeah god to it. you didn't get to Holy see that shit. in the original you didn't get to oh see all that god. in the original it goes with the song really yeah. really good yeah that's why that's like like when i when i when i seen that video that's instantly what i pictured when gotcha, I gotcha. that song to it so like that that's how usually like my video or my videos for my songs go mm-hmm. Like I usually have a song in mind already, mm-hmm. and then you know go from there. Got you, got you. Uh, I save clips like about everything, so like I usually have a clip for everything. Yeah, because you sample from video games, from anime, from everything, mm-hmm. right? So uh, let's take if you guys in the audience or whoever's watching, viewers have any questions, feel free to ask. I might not respond right away because I don't want to break the flow, but I will eventually get to them. Torgy Bear says, "Hey, hey, uh, RJ." Uh, who do you draw inspiration from the most with your music? I'm think- uh, honestly, uh, like as a, like growing up, uh, like I, I was older, I, it's a lot, it's a lot of different things. But growing up, it was it was mainly like, a, like some old school rap mixed with new school rap because that's all I listened to. Because my parents all they listened to was like Bone Thugs and Harmony, Easy E. Uh, <laughs> I knew it was Bone Way. Thugs. Mm-hmm. Uh, I kind of, oh, I love Bone Thugs. Yeah. Oh my god, that chopper flow with that melody that makes my heart go <laughs> like that. If you can tell, that's where the, the, a lot of my music is inspired from is stuff like that. And like my like my teenage years, Wiz Khalifa and Mac Miller. They're you know they're they're that they got you got you helped a lot with my taste especially mm-hmm. especially especially with Khalifa because him like just being a fucking he was, he's like Snoop Dogg Jr. for us like my parents had Snoop Dogg and we had Wiz Khalifa so that that's 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 one of my main reasons I do the kind of music I do mm-hmm. because it was melodic it was chill yeah. it was you know it helped you know build yeah you're like me whenever I was still in the metal band. Any like music, I was a guitar player, so I would write like the music and stuff, right? Any of the songs I would make, it was really hard for me just to try to draw inspiration from one band because there were so many bands that I liked. So I would draw inspiration 
either from and then make it your own and then make it your own basically it's kind of like okay mm-hmm. i got this song going on let's mix in it sounds kind of like this band but let's take it this direction you know and then exactly. we'll go from there something that that's i would do use, you know that's when you usually make something the most unique because yeah. a lot of people like oh that sounds like this but how do you think they got their sound <laughs> yeah, yeah, other yeah. People. everybody gets inspired okay that's good that's good for that one you want to do a second song the next song is going to be paradise so on this one i can play the audio uh, or i can play the video do you want me to play the, do you want the audience to see the video or do you just want the, the audio the video so we can show my all right uh, all right cool great yeah so torgy bear apparently edited this i do remember watching this a long time ago also on paradise you got a little collab deal going on with uh our boy patzer for his podcast so i don't oh, yeah. know if you guys listen to uh the artistry of podcast by uh bo miles aka patzer uh but he uses one of uh he uses paradise as his intro song for that podcast so it's pretty tight i thought that was pretty tight yeah i think your audio is muted by the way uh rj Okay, can you hear me? There we go. He's back. Yeah. He's back. That's fine. My girl, <laughs> laptop doing what it does. I know, man. We are we are fucking grinding our gears trying to get this laptop to, to work. <laughs> as long as the audio sounds good, that's all that matters. All right. So, yeah, Paradise, you, you basically you told Pat, sir, or he asked you, hey, can I use this? And you were like, you don't mind letting people using your songs? Yeah. If they're trusted yeah, exactly. sources, right? You don't just like give it away to yeah. anybody for free, right? No, exactly. No, like you guys are the boys, so I don't mind you guys using my music. Cause Torgi uh, actually uses some of my music as well. So, like I said, when it comes to that, I really don't mind. You know. What got I mean? you. Got you. I mean, at the end of the day, I make it. I make it. I make the music for fun. You know. Yeah, I actually thought I about doing it. Got and you. I, I actually thought about asking you to use one of your songs for the intro of this podcast. Uh, but first, I'm trying out this other beat. If I can use it, you know, if I can use it where it doesn't fuck with my videos, uh, then yeah. I'm going to use this one. But if not, <laughs> I was like, man, I'm going to have to hit up the homie. <laughs> oh, no doubt. No doubt. Like, yeah. that, I, don't, I don't mind that off anybody, you know. I, I, just ask me first. You yeah, know I mean? you definitely <laughs> want to ask. ask. <laughs> all right. Um, and it's good, to, it's good for people to ask you how much of your material they're going to use. So I've had people ask me before, hey, hey, can I use this clip in my video? And I'm like, yeah, sure. You can use a clip. Right, I'm thinking 15 seconds, 30 seconds, and I go to their channel and they've reposted my entire video. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's boy. fucked up. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And like, what is the point of that? No, because I remember I asked you for a clip for one of your streams. Yeah, there, exactly. yeah, yeah. If you're gonna ask, ask for I guess too. Yeah, ask for what you're gonna use and what is the length of it, you know. But don't post the entire. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. It wasn't the entire stream. It was just the entire. Uh, it was like a Tekken stream, the entire like 20, 30 minutes that I was playing with that particular person. It's kind of like, come on, man. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyways, let's go back into... Yeah, at least he could have asked like, to post the whole thing. Yeah, he told me a clip. All right, whatever. All right, let's go into well, uh, Paradise. All right, so this is the music video one, and I think Torgy Bear helped edit it. Let's play this one. Really? All right. Honestly, on a scale of one to on Mars, how high were you <laughs> during the filming of this video? What's Mars? <laughs> you passed that three planets ago. No, I like this video because you're having fun. You're just having fun on it. That man just just busted some caps with a hair dryer. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. So Torgy Bear helped you edit this. Smiling, I'm up in the clouds, I'm flying. Got no time 
for no bullshit or lying. I'm gonna keep back in. I had the part where you're showing off the uh, the mangoes. <laughs> What is it? One for three, two for five. I'm a kickback in how I feel. Like I got my stacks of money. Got that Rick, Rick Grimes cowboy hat going on. Man, fuck all that drama shit. Yup, my yeehaw. Video games, give me some double cheese buddies, give me some good ass weed, and let's, let's go, go, go. That's really short. Yeah, I thought it was longer. Yeah, I plan on only playing like half of the songs, but I'm like, man, these are pretty short. We can just play them yeah. all the way through. Yeah, good majority of my songs are short. Just ma the mainly the main reason I make them short just because it was kind of probably weird or cringe to say. They literally just a feeling. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I want you to to enjoy the song, feel how you want to feel, and you know. Gotcha. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> continue with your day. Got you, got you. Like so as the kids say, it's a vibe. It's a vibe, yeah. I've noticed that. I can tell people with ages by the stuff they post in my chat when they come watch me. I'm like, okay, you are a, you're in your teens or your very <laughs> early twenties. Like I've gotten really good over the four years of streaming by of uh, being able to tell people's almost their exact 20. age. Their exact age by the way they type yeah. stuff out, the way they their sentence structure. Well, and it's funny. Sometimes I catch myself saying some of that shit because it's funny. Like I, I don't say it ironically, I just think it's funny to say it because when people say it, it's like, bro, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh okay, so on this song, what was your uh, how did this song come about? Like where where the lyrics come from? Where let's talk about we'll talk about the music video uh, part it, later. Yeah. It, it's it's honestly just like a mix of things because I heard I was I was playing if you if you know that theme that background song for that beat mm -hmm. it's a PD Piranha's uh theme you know when he when in sixty four when he's asleep I was playing that and I heard uh you know that theme I was like I really like that fucking theme song so like I I went in the good old internet looked uh -huh. up uh PD Piranha sleep beat i don't know what the fuck it was called okay and like i sat and i sat there listening to it forever i'm like i really like this fucking theme <laughs> but i don't know what to do with it so and i was and then i then i was like i said i was watching uh, if you if you hear the beginning it's a dragon ball clip not even dragon ball z yeah i can tell it's uh -huh. a dragon ball clip of goku and chi chi mm -hmm. i was watching that and i'm like Oh my god, that fits too perfect right there. Everything's just falling in line. Yeah, all the pieces <laughs> are falling then, together. From, if you hear what she's talking about, you know it, it. It's basically just sweet, sweet child goodness. Like got it's you, just, innocence. You know, it's just uh, <clears throat> a lot of innocence going innocence, on. Innocence, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, that, and, and that's what parad and that's what paradise. I'm like, what is what is just pure innocence? Just chilling. What is what is the most thing you can do? Just chill on the paradise. Have your own, you know, good time really <clears throat> with people, with yourself. You know, just live live your life. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's and, what I got out of that's it. That's how everything yeah. just came. It's a carefree song. Like, you, there's nothing yeah, else to yeah, worry yeah. about. You're just doing you, doing shit with people, drinking, smoking, living your life. You know, that's the kind of yeah. the vibe I was going well, for. Like you say at the end, fuck all this drama shit. <laughs> It's like once you hit exactly. that point, you're like, fuck all this and drama I, I, shit. I, I, just have fun. Exactly. Exactly. When, like, once it's like you get on, like, if you're in so much drama, it's like, why even, why even bother, bro? It's like, yeah. it's, it's, it's almost annoying. Yeah, you don't want to it, be. It's such a buzzkill. Check out the cup. You don't want to be like this. You want to be like this. <laughs> right? Basically. It's like I get when people take stuff seriously, but people take life too seriously. Yeah. Well, they like, take it. Like, mm -hmm. Do you ever seen that Cat Williams stand up when he's like, "You gang banging on <laughs> Yeah. Like, you, wait, you wake up mad as shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Bro, why? Yeah. He's you like, you ever seen people wake up hard? You gang banging on yeah, breakfast? Like, like, bro, that's like the most. Like that's that scene will live rent free in my head because it's true. You like, mad at Cocoa Puffs? <laughs> Like, how are you mad at cereal right now, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I left people like that behind in my life uh, quite a long time ago. Like, I, I, and, like, if once you when you first met me, I, I was just getting out of that kind of mm -hmm. life. I remember. You know I mean? Yeah, I remember. And, like, and that's why I was like, 
I, I need something. And I, I think that video too was around the same time after that. And so like a lot of that stuff was like me transitioning out from like what I was doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause when, like when I was doing music before, all, like I always done like the chill stone and pothead music, mm-hmm. but I found myself doing more and more like stuff like that. The other people were doing, you know, it wasn't really my own kind of sound. You gotcha. know what I mean? And so like after leaving all that, you know, I started like coming back to who I was as yeah. good as that may sound. That's what that's what happens, man. Like, so I was thinking about that too lately, where you grow up, and a lot of people you, that you're friends with when you grow up, you're kind of only friends because of the proximity, because you live mm-hmm. close together, they're in your area, that's who you go to school and work the with. Same stuff and stuff yeah, like you're into too. the same stuff at first, but then you start to kind of see who these people are. Some of them mm-hmm. remain good. Like I have a few friends that are still close friends, but a lot of them go off into this different direction. And you just exactly. can't fucking hang with them anymore. Uh, and then you start noticing, like, man, you know what? I never really had too much in common with this guy. It was only because of the proximity. Because then you start living. Like, I, you know, once I started working in visual effects and animation, I started, like, traveling to, like, different states and cities and yeah. stuff, right? And then I noticed that I have more friends that I've made on my own that are still exactly. long-term friends and we're still cool as hell and I can tell them more stuff. I can... I can criticize them. They can criticize me. We can be more honest with each other uh, without anybody getting mad. Believe it or not, that's what YouTube helped me realize. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I got you. You, you, you literally could find people who are into the same shit you are. Mm-hmm. Boo says, it's way, it's a lot easier. Yeah, Boo says, true. Yeah, I hope what we're saying is making sense. But there's a lot of friends that had to like drop by the wayside. A lot of friends were only there when it was time. To have like a good time, but anytime you needed help, they weren't fucking around. Exactly. But you were like, I remember there was a lot. People would have trouble with their cars, and I know a little bit about cars, right? At least to get you back on the road, I go and fucking bust my ass to help them. Whenever I had a fucking problem, they ain't there for me. You know what I'm saying? So they're always into some other shit too. Yeah. It's always some last minute stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like ah, okay. Uh, Abush says, "Don't sound, don't surround yourself with people who ask why." Look for people that say, why not? Ooh, that's some fortune cookie yeah, knowledge exactly. right there. Damn. Mars. Boost just, works at the fortune cookie it's factory. <laughs> it's the fortune cookie. Tori Bear says, 100% agree. Leave the drama behind. There's many people uh, I don't talk to uh, anymore due to drama. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's true, man. Okay. There's a lot of people out that it just follows them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, they it's they like, look for it. Is what it is. They look exactly, for the. They exactly. look for it. Yeah. Okay. So the video. How did the music video come along? Why did you do a music video for this particular uh, song? Uh, I I I. I linked this is like two. Uh, you don't gotta play them out. But there's like two videos in the description that gave me the inspiration. Cause like I said, it's a carefree song. You know what I mean? And so, like, those two videos, it's literally that. They were ca- it's a carefree video. Mm-hmm. So, I'm like, I think that would fit perfectly. I don't got to do, like, nothing crazy, nothing, like, super graphical, something, you know. It's literally a carefree video. You know yeah, I, mean? I got you. Yeah, it's yeah. me wearing a fucking cowboy hat, me standing on my <laughs> bed, <laughs> you know, me just doing, me throwing manga <laughs> mm-hmm. like it's money. You know what I mean? <laughs> it matches. It definitely and matches. So that's, I yeah. think. That's the whole. That's the whole vibe I was going for. And then Torgi, when he puts like those little weird twitchy edits, and then the lyrics would just fit perfectly. Got you. Yeah, good work on that, uh, Torgi. I, I remember when this came out, I was like, "Oh, that's pretty cool." You got somebody from the community to help you, you know, edit it. So that's pretty good. Mm. Yeah. All right. So let's. Uh, you want to move on to the third song? You ready, homie? Okay. Good? Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. All right. Let's uh, move on to the mm-hmm. third song. Yeah. Turn this off. Turn this back on. And let's move over to... This is called Persona. I'm guessing you probably... Uh, what is it? Sampled from the game Persona for some of the the uh, music or no? Yeah. All Persona right, cool. 4 to be more... Yeah. It, it's, a, it's, a mix, it's a mix between Persona 4, mm-hmm. but like the lyrics touch more like with persona 5 so it's kind of like a mix of those two oh what what i was gonna say is what i noticed from this is i don't play persona but i do play its sister game uh catherine right remember that catherine that's what it's called the music in that i love it and you still i'm telling you you got to make a song (laughs) for me using something out of that 
you know some track out of that song if you can but uh, i could feel i the, gotta i gotta play those i gotta play the game yeah yeah i feel how it's related to that game as far as music inspiration the uh this persona track you oh, know yeah. that, whoever makes that music for those yeah. games holy shit they live in the same oh, universe i could tell I- immediately all right let's let's play it oh before we start like shout out to torture because he, he oh yeah he makes this beat and did a fucking amazing job on it got you yeah so z torture it says it right here in the uh yeah. On the uh, thumbnail, it says uh, Persona by the homie RJ, produced by Z Torture. So he he makes a lot of beats, uh, mm-hmm. and he helped you make the beat for this one. He like cut it all together yeah. for you, and then you you yeah. made the lyrics. Because without with, without like the drum the, the, and the bass and all that, it was mm-hmm. literally just the the trumpets and the the, the violins and melody. Gotcha. So any extra shit uh, and remixed on it, he did it. All right, awesome, nice nice shout out. Give credit where credit is due. Yes sir, yes sir. Here we go, play. And this one's more like a chill song or like a more like drawn out beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more of a. This one is kind of like Paradise. Like, man, like I said, after I was going through some shit. Mm-hmm. These lyrics kind of mean more. I guess I have more of a meaning. This one's a little bit more dramatic. Paradise. It's a little bit more dramatic. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's listen. Yeah. All right, so there we go. That's that one. That's Persona. Uh, and I'm going to make sure to link everybody that worked. So, homie, all of his links are going to be in the uh, wherever this video is posted at the end of the day, like off of Twitch. Uh, all of his links will be in the description if you guys want to check it out on your own. And he has like a massive playlist of songs. And also, I'll, I'll whoever helped you with these songs, I'll probably get their links too. So... Tori Bear, if you want to send me a DM on Facebook or whatever, I can link people to your channel. Torture, I think I have his stuff. I'll link it to his channel. Mm, and then Patser, because Patser is using some of the oh, homie yeah. uh, yeah, real estate. Right we'll <laughs> make sure to get uh, the artistry of podcast link in, in the description of this video as well. Uh, so that way everybody gets credit where credit is due. Exactly. Y'all deserve it too. Shit. All right. So, what is the uh, what's the deal with this song? What uh, inspiration wise? Like, this, like I said, uh, I was like going through like like I said, I just I recently just got out of the you know that whole situation I was in, and like 
I that game Persona Five literally fucking hit different for me. I I I never really played RPGs. I like I have ADHD, so yeah. when it comes to shit like that, I'm I I'm oh, I turned off instantly. Gotcha. But you know, I was I was seeing a lot, you know, gameplay of it, seeing the story of it, music. And I was like drawn. I was like, "What the fuck? This actually looks fucking cool." Yeah, you know what I mean. And, oh. and so I I decided to play. I was like, and it. I was like, "Damn, it's a long fucking game." <laughs> it's it's like almost. I think like the original Persona Five because they have Royale, which is like an extended version of that game. All right. It's like over a hundred and something hours. Damn. And you can replay it to get different shit Jesus. too. And so I was like, damn, I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a commitment. That's almost a that's a relationship right there. That's almost a relationship. No, that, no, that was my girlfriend for a while, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, Holy like, shit. Know, something about that game really, really hit me. Like Got you. the story, the characters, everything just like hit. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get it. And, they like, build they build related to a lot of yeah. situations. Yeah. And it was weird. I haven't felt like that about a game in like forever. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's like, what happened so, to me. Like playing that uh-huh. like changed. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Well, that's what happened to me. Like I didn't I didn't get into Persona so much. My my nephews get into it. Maybe I just haven't given it a chance. But I'm in I'm into that Catherine game, which is sort of like the same universe. And I got super invested. Like I didn't want to play any other game. I didn't want like usually when I stream out, I do like exactly. you. You play one exactly. game and then the next the next uh, time it's to stream, you play a different game and then you come back to that one. Yeah. I wanted to play it all the way through. Gameplay was fun, exactly. but the story was like it, I really wanted yeah. to beat these stages. So I was like, I want to get back to this story and yeah. this and music. That's what, and that, that's what the, that's what stuck yeah. to me too was yeah. the story, yeah. the story, the and the characters and the interactions and the okay. different lines, the sad lines, the funny lines, and yeah. Lines. The like tones. They, really know how to, they really know how to set a tone. Which they play with really the music, too. Good. They play with the music when something's happening. They, everything everything it's perfect. fits. It, it's it, like the music for in any kind of section in those games fit mm-hmm. perfectly. All right. And that's, and that's what really kind of stuck to me. So like that, like that game actually helped me get out of the hole I was in. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Like the music, too. So I was like, but that weird, but that song, that that song. Like there's a bunch of good Persona Five music, mm-hmm. and I I've done a couple songs of it, but when I heard that song, the one the instrumental from Persona Four, yeah, I was like, holy fuck, this is so damn good for me not to use. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And that's where you got that and so, that track. The uh, that's what that's the track that y'all, y'all remixed with that one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's from Persona Four. Does it have a but name? Like, does the does the does it have a name that you remember uh, or no? I know it was a while ago. Okay. It's been a while. I watch. Uh, uh, let me look for it, but I, I'm gonna keep talking. Okay, but okay. like, uh, like I don't know. It's just. Oh, sorry, my mic even. My mic's falling for me right now. I'm sorry. Mike. He's getting emotional. He's getting too emotional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but like, like the like just combining those two things, mm-hmm. and if you hear some of the lyrics, it does have to do with like some of the persona stuff. Like, uh, I put all in my heart with everything that I do, which is, you know, the, the main theme of Persona 5 is, like, changing evil people's hearts, you know what I mean? Gotcha. Making them confess for the wrongdoings that they did. And showing your persona, which is, you know, I guess you could, what I, a persona is, like, your inner self, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What you really and truly are. And so, like, that's why I say I'm going to show my persona. So I'm going to show you guys who I really am. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So, like, those two lines, I, and like, I'm going to be completely honest. That's probably one of my favorite songs I've ever recorded, ever mm. written, ever done. And because, like, it means so much to me. And just, like, I don't know. I, I know this sounds fucking like I'm sucking my own ass. But <laughs> the melody, oh, my God, bro, why did I come up with that melody? That shit's beautiful. Gotcha. Yeah, no, you can be <laughs> yeah, you can be proud of your work. It's good. Like, sometimes you, you work on so many songs, and then when you get that one that really stands out, you're proud of it. That's how it was on guitar exactly. as well. I get it. And, that, and, and, like, for some reason, that song, even to this day, it's a couple years old even. Like, it still, like, resonates with me. Because, like, mm-hmm. I know where I was when I was doing that. I know how mm-hmm. I felt. I know what I was, you know, doing at that time. So, got you. Um, is it was there anything in particular you were going through that you wanted to talk about, or not really? Just some stuff you were dealing with. Uh, it was just like I said, I was just in the wrong crowd, and it was just the wrong time of my life. I was, I, I, I guess I, I, I could say this is like a bam exclusive. I Uh-oh. was like, 
addicted to addicted to you know Xanax because of the people I was oh, around. So I got you. So that that was that was a main part of you know a lot of the shit I was going through. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then, yeah, like, yeah. It was it, like it was hard. Don't get me wrong; it was fucking hard. Shit like that ain't easy. And so like leaving that, I was you know going through it a lot. You know what I mean? Oh, I got you. I thought I, I thought I had friends. I'm not you know using. The, the drugs anymore mm -hmm. so a lot of shit was just falling onto me so i was like damn i can't i can't keep doing this shit to myself yeah you know what i mean so i had to so i had to leave as soon as possible because if i kept doing it i honestly think i would have been a either jail or fucking you know even worse croaked <laughs> yeah yeah no that's a, that's, that's good that's I a big it. yeah yeah I've, I've i've uh known a lot of people that get addicted to that you know those type to those types of substances uh and it's really hard to uh from what i've seen it's hard for them to get away from it like it, once you're it's not easy it's you know, not easy uh, a lot of those people that i chill with are either still on it or you know or worse or they're on worse mm -hmm. on the worst thing yeah that's what i did that's why i left certain friends behind and there's some friends where i feel bad i'm like man i really want to be this guy's friend again like i mean i'm still like i'll treat you cool if i see you but yeah. i want to be close again but you don't want to you know, you don't want to deal with all the shit they're still going through. They don't exactly. want to get out of it. And nobody's going to make them get exactly. out of it. Exactly. They like they... that life sometimes. And, it, yeah. you know, you can't do much to... Like they say, you can lead a horse to water, but it takes them to fucking drink it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and that's I all. I had to go drink that fucking water, bro. <laughs> oh, and the, song, the instrumental is called I'll Face Myself. I'll Face Myself from four. Persona 5. Okay. Four. 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 Persona, Persona 4. four. Instrumental. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right, yeah, that sounds like a good reason why... The song was written. That's a good. I think that's the best. Exactly. Best uh, background that we've gotten on any of these songs. I was wondering why you picked that song because I had three songs. One of them I wasn't so sure about, uh, and I asked you if you had one you wanted me to ask you about. And you pulled yeah. up this one, so that's good. But I, that's. I think mm -hmm. that's always going to be the first song I pull out if mm -hmm. anybody asks me what's like my favorite song I've recorded. Mm -hmm. And it's not like a, a a chill or poppy kind of a song. It's something like like that. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Um, well, I I like uh the three songs that I picked. Uh, I kind of picked them too because it's such a an array of different styles. Yeah. That you had, so that's why I picked. And that's them. why I, that's why that's why I like just doing music because that's the stuff I grew up listening to, mm -hmm. like the pop, the rap, the more darker music or different stuff like that. So I just like I'm just gonna do it myself. <laughs> gotcha. Awesome. That's a good uh, a good uh, array of songs. Uh, what else did I want to ask you about here? All right. Well, uh, let's just go on to like a final question, really. Um, it's the final countdown. <laughs> I was gonna go into some video game stuff, but we kind of every song that you've done has kind of been sort of related to video game stuff. Uh, so there's not really a reason. Talk about video game titties. I'm with it. <laughs> to go into all right. Well, we're all, I'm always up for that. <laughs> Hell, <laughs> throw away the note. Throw away the bullet points. Why is Eliza the best second seven wife? Because <laughs> them titties. And because she's a vampire. T can. She's the best T can two D. Nice and slow later, and then she snaps. I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah. Like, if nobody knows the reason I got into Eliza is because of this man right here. <laughs> so blame him. <laughs> yeah, you you described Elvira her. Elvira and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was looking for somebody to get in. You know, somebody that he would feel at home with in tech and, and that's who i suggested i gave him a lot of he gave me some reasons and of what he was looking for no big beefy man yeah i noticed you always play the girl characters even harada said even, even harada said like they had to put some waifus because he got sick and tired of seeing these shirtless ass dudes <laughs> yeah nico says dark wave gang for life <laughs> i used to exactly, play eliza exactly I used to play Eliza when I, Tekken 7 I, first I, came out. I still out. want to see. I, I, I never got a chance to see you play. I want to see you play her. No, okay. Yeah, but yeah. I'm pretty sure she's changed so much. Since yeah, her. she's changed a lot. And I'm, I'm not that great with her. But No, no. And, and the thing is that I can tell they're trying to make her more of a Tekken character than a 2D character. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're trying if, to. If they do, I, I'm, I'm wondering if they do take her to Tekken 8, they're going to take away that meter. <laughs> nah, <laughs> meter, I don't I'm know. I'm not going to lie. It, it's... Yeah, I only use it for mix-ups. That's the gotcha. only time I really use the meter, or I yeah. use it for the extended dive kick. But I, I think mm -hmm. if they, I think if they 
get rid of the meter, I would I wouldn't be too sad about it. Not you. I don't think that they will, man. It feels like they're going more into that direction because they drop geese. So? Yeah, they drop geese. He has meter. They Akuma started with the whole meter game, right? Coming into Tekken Seven, yeah. and Eliza. But you she, think all the but the thing the but I would, what I'm wondering is because you know you see how people react. Oh, to I know. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I'm wondering that is going to have to anything to do with it. But a lot of people play the 2D characters. Yeah, I don't know. There's also other characters, too, that will go into a certain, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a stance or a state. Uh, where fucking like, Safina? Yeah, like Safina. Well, no, not, not so much a stance. It would be more of a state. Oh. A state meaning like like Claudio, he has his starburst. Oh, his hand oh, lights up. Right. And he can do like overpowered like, versions like of... Yeah, yeah, and where you can do like overpowered versions of a move that already exists, but when you right. when you get the starburst, who else does that? I'm, I'm trying to think about there's anybody else that lights up, but it doesn't have a meter. Uh, but Faku, yeah, for this Faku run, no, he, he, he's just does a visual. He? Thing, right? Yeah, it's just a visual thing. I feel like they wanted to incorporate it, but they didn't that's really what go I with think, it. Too. Yeah, holy shit, that's yeah. what it feels like when you still get hit. But by think, it. who knows, man? Tekken Eight might have all all meter character at this point. They're gonna be like, we're just oh. gonna. Which I don't know, but they might. Have you seen like the the mod videos people make on the, the second seven characters? <laughs> yeah, yeah. meter. Holy shit, that's wild. Oh might yeah, like Jin, like Jin Kazama. Yeah, dude, it's like meter after meter move, and in the combo they're building gross. up meter, and then they use it again. Oh, yeah, that's gross. That's what I think, actually think what Tekken Eight might become uh, oh. on Tekken Eight, but who knows? Maybe they'll or take cancels it. and meter. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. Well, well, there's you never know. But uh, yeah, man. So we touched on a lot of things here. Uh, I'm glad we got this to work. Uh, yeah, bro, I'm sorry for yeah. the long wait, y'all. Hey, you gave me a, a good long edit editing job <laughs> for I'm after. So bad, bro. Nah, it's it's cool. Uh, but I yeah, hope I gave me good content. No, I definitely it's definitely gonna be fun to uh, post this after. Um, yeah, man. So that's the home, the return of the homie RJ on the. Uh, Homie. On the Esther Bam stream on the uh, Bamcast, bam! Yeah, thanks for having me, bro. Yeah. Whenever you want, you can add the homie again. Yeah, maybe next time I'll I'll include you in like one of our. Hey, bro! I I leave my MK movie alone, bro. I <laughs> I hated it. I hated it so much. Give me much. the street dog. Give me the Street Fighter. <laughs> I hated it so much. In Street Fighter. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not, I, I liked. I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah. But yeah. I can see why people didn't like it. Yeah. This man, Cole. I, I the <laughs> thing about it, I didn't hate Cole, but I, I did hated like Cole. God damn. <laughs> God damn. This man, literally. No. I, I, what's funny? The funniest shit ever. This man literally had plot armor. Yeah, he did. He literally, they literally, literally put it on him. Literally <laughs> yeah, put yeah, yeah, him yeah. Plot armor. I'm like. No. The, the reason, the reason, the reason the homie's bringing this up, where he's telling me to leave his Mortal Kombat movie alone, is because uh, the first. So I made like a promo that the pod, that the band cast was coming back, right? Posted it everywhere. Then I posted a uh, that the first podcast for season two was going to be a review and thoughts of the new Mortal Kombat movie. And man, I didn't even know how much I disliked the movie until I started talking about it. <laughs> Holy shit, I think I gave that thing like a, a <laughs> four or three out of ten. Ill Will gave it like a seven or a six. Uh, but yeah, we, we but fucking it, I tore still it. think the older one's a lot better just because, you know, the campiness yeah. and how they yeah. got the, the characters a uh -huh. bit more right. But the new one wasn't as bad, but I could see why people didn't like it. Yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want, and I was trying my hardest don't to not compare it to the old one because then people were gonna be like, "Oh, you it's just got not to. you it's just really, have it's really yeah." Hard not to. Well, they were gonna tell me you just have nostalgia goggles on. So I didn't. If you notice on the whole podcast, didn't bring it up once. But yeah, I do like the good. old one better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not talking about annihilation either. Yeah not, not, yeah, not yeah, not annihilation. That doesn't exist. Sendo uh, could be my bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, let's let's leave it there. Uh, Tori Bear says this was so much fun, guys. What a great interview slash podcast. Thanks, guys. Yeah, make sure to share oh, this yeah, around. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to get this podcast to be big. If you guys are a content creator, uh, and you know, if you guys know any content creators or whatever, and would like to be on, you know, I can't promise everybody's gonna be on, but if I like your stuff and He's gonna and there's have something, Playboy models. <laughs> He's gonna have esports gamers. Yeah, I'm trying to have whatever have... you know. A little everything. bit of all of it. Cosplay girls. <laughs> yeah. You got to sign up now. But yeah, if you guys want to sign up, just streamers? you got to let me know and then we'll go over the details and we'll Man, see. When's the hot tub stream? The hot tub stream <laughs> next. That'll be next. Fuck yeah. 
yeah but uh all right guys this has been the homie rj this has been uh bam hey, hit him with my outro, dog? from the Say bam cast play. and yeah let's let outro. let's let uh <laughs> the homie rj uh you know outro us but yeah hope everybody has a great day a great night whenever you're watching this stay safe Wash your hands. Wash your motherfucking asses because I know some of y'all stink. <laughs> and we'll see you guys <laughs> next time. That, that down, up. 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 That, that down, up.